Hey everybody, I'm Natalie Bratton with Remax First in Oklahoma City. Welcome to my channel, Oklahoma Ambassador, where I talk all things real estate and the Oklahoma City metro area. I am continuing uh, with more seller fails. You liked the last one, so today I want to share with you two more recent fails that will hopefully entertain you, but also teach you valuable lessons about selling your home. And if you're planning to relocate to the Oklahoma City area, I'm your girl. I want you to start with my playlist, Living in Oklahoma, and get to know Oklahoma a little better. And then let's get in touch and talk and uh, talk about your plans for moving here. My first story today is Chris and Jen. In 2019, they needed a slightly bigger home that was actually a less open floor plan. They wanted some defined spaces, uh, a place for everybody in the family to have their own room. And so we were looking in the same neighborhood they lived in that would work for their family. So we found this house and the description says, updated better than new. So the house was built in 1968. It was listed for 185,000. The house has new carpet, new paint, uh, new paint on the cabinets as well, some new appliances, a few new light fixtures, and new granite countertops. We go to look at the house. It is summertime. It's hot outside and there's no electricity on and there's no air conditioning on. Okay, rule number one of selling your home is have the utilities on and if it's hot outside, you have on the air conditioner and if it's cold outside, you turn on the heat because the worst thing you can do is have a home buyer walk into your house and it be sweltering hot. So that's the first thing. It's sweltering hot inside the house. And we walk around and yes, it has new carpet, it has new paint. We go to the kitchen and at first glance, it's all right. But if you look at the picture, you'll see they did the granite countertops, but they didn't do a backsplash. And while they replaced the sink and the faucet, it's not the fanciest sink and faucet. They have new appliances, but the stove is actually not hooked up. It's not wired in. It does not work. And even though they painted the cabinets, they didn't replace the hinges. So some of the cabinets don't shut. And while they replaced the carpet, they did not replace the tile. And besides not replacing the tile, they didn't really clean it and clean the grout so that it looks nice. You'll notice the toilets don't have toilet seats. And then the yard was a total mess. In fact, when we looked out the window into the backyard, there in the grass lay a dead cat. And so we went on our way and I sent the listing agent feedback, said, you know, turn on the air conditioning and oh, by the way, there's a dead cat in the backyard that should probably be removed. Well, a few weeks later, I get their home under contract and we go back. Nothing had changed. Dead cat still rotting in the backyard, still no air conditioning. So after much negotiation and going back and forth and back and forth. I did manage for them to be able to buy the house. They got $35,000 off the list price. So to summarize the lessons I want you to take away from story number one is one, turn on the air conditioner or have the heat on depending on the season when you're selling your home. Secondly, don't put lipstick on the pig. Don't put in granite canner tops and fancy new appliances if you're not even gonna bother to fix the things that are broken in the house. A well-maintained home with a neutral palette is way better than fancy upgrades on top of broken things that don't work. Well, on the subject of flip homes, this year, Andrew and Elizabeth bought their first home. We found this home, it was amazing. It's on half an acre in Dell City and the county assessor has the house listed at 1,200 square feet. And this is a flip. This is somebody who found a house and they bought it. They did not have a home inspection. They did not have the home measured. And they just put it on the market for $155,000. So we went and looked and we could tell, again, is a flip. So it had new carpet. It had a few new things, not really much to this flip at all. 
And so we had the home inspection. It came back with a lot of stuff. Luckily, Andrew's pretty handy, but then also the seller agreed to do quite a few repairs. So we felt pretty good about that. But here is where we found out the seller made a critical mistake. So there's an add-on, a second living room to this house. And it's quite big. It was very exciting for them. Like they love this big room. And uh, when the appraisal came back, the house was actually 1,700 square feet. And so the seller, because they didn't do their home inspections or have the house measured, advertised a 1,200 square foot house instead of a 1,700 square foot house. They probably could have sold it for a good $20,000 more than they did. So because the seller did not take the time to measure the house, really do their research and preparation to sell it, they did a lot of repairs before it closed. And then they also left money on the table because they didn't actually know the size of the home they were selling. All right. If you want more, look at the week before that video, three more seller fails. That's a great video for you to watch. Check out my playlist, Living in Oklahoma. And if you're planning on moving to the Oklahoma City area, give me a call and find me at oklahomahomeseller.com. Talk to you later. Bye.